Hey guys, TerribleAcon13 here, back in Destiny with your Arms Day video for this week. So let's head over and see what Mr. Banshee has for us. So, our first weapon of the day will be the Arminius D Auto Rifle. So, the first roll gives you Hot Swap, Feeding Frenzy, Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, or Braced Frame. Roll number two gives you partial refund, persistence, single point sling, fitted stock, or braced frame. Not a bad roll there. And last but not least, we have danger close, rodeo, single point sling, speed reload, and rifle barrel. So I think your best option for this one, because you're looking for all the stability bonuses on this, is going to be the Armin the number two for the Arminius. Because you have stability here and stability here. Give you the best options. And partial refund. You're likely to be getting assist with this one, so it's not a bad perk. It's not a terrible perk on this weapon. So option number two is the one you should pick up this week. Next up, we have the Ufferun HC4 Hand Cannon. So, the first roll of the week gives you Zen Moment, Single Point Sling, Braced Frame, Rescue Mag, and Surrounded. Not terrible rolls. And second option gives you Mulligan, Snapshot, Rifled Barrel, Triple Tap, and exhumed, that's a very good roll. Triple tap, rifle barrel, more range, mulligan for missed shots, we'll bring them back. Two to help for your magazine size and a range increase. Good option. And last but not least, we have mulligan, lightweight, braced frame, rescue mag, and eye of the storm. So, really, the only option is going to be number two because this has a small mag size and this is the only one that doesn't have perks that negatively affect it and it increases the range. So option number two is a solid roll for this hand cannon. Yeah, that's good. Next up, we have the Soros DSi 47 Scout Rifle. So we have a perfect balance, feather mag, unflinching, speed reload, and hand laid stock on the first option. Number two gives us hammer forged, appended magazine, Rangefinder, Speed Reload, and Rifle Barrel. So this is your range modified weapon here. And the third option gives us Perfect Balance, Oiled Frame, Hidden Hand, Single Point Sling, and Hand Laid Stock. Now this is probably the one you want to go for. Because this weapon really benefits from just having lots of stability lots and lots it would be better if this was full auto instead of hidden hand but hidden hand isn't a bad option and this will give you a full stability weapon right here so number three in my personal opinion is your best choice so next up we have the Lindmiller D pulse rifle so our first option gives us army of one Zen moment high caliber rounds Fitted stock and hand laid stock, which is good for this weapon. You want in a high stability roll here, so Zen Moment and hand laid stock giving you that. Option number two has surrounded, range finder, snapshot, hand loaded, and hand laid stock. Not quite so good because the stability doesn't get the increase that you quite want on it. And last but not least, well, this one looks like it could be a good roll. We've got Head Seeker, Zen Moment, Single Point Sling, Fitted Stock, and Hand Laid Stock. This is the roll you want. Zen Moment and Hand Laid Stock will give you great stability. And Head Seeker will allow you to just hit the body to get the damage that will stop proccing Zen Moment, then lead your shots up to the head and land your final couple of shots on the head for the extra damage. So this is a really, really good roll on the Ludmilla. 
So if you're looking for one, I would definitely pick this one up right here, number three. That is a damn fine roll for the Lord Miller, even if it isn't the most effective type of pulse at the moment. It may come into its own later on. So next up, we have the Soros PDX45. So let's have a look at the rules we have on this then. First up, we have Hammer Forged, Feather Mag, Private Eye, Lightweight, and Small Bore. Next up, we have Perfect Balance, Casket Mag, Range Finder, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. Well, that's not actually too bad. Snapshot with Perfect Balance and Range Finder. It's a shame this wasn't another stability boosting one. But, I mean, you could swap it out. That will counteract the thing for that. But I would say going with this, that is a damn fine roll on that one. So before we get too distracted, let's move us on to the last option. We have Fade Stock, Oiled Frame, Unflinching, Snapshot, and Small Bore. Now this may be an even better roll. You've got two stability perks here that also gives you a range boost and unflinching. Yeah, I suppose that one's a bit of a throwaway. So it's really between option two and option three. I think option three cause of unflinching is a bit of a throwaway one that's not really coming into its own right now. So I would go for option number two, which is a nicely rolled PDX 45. So, the weapons for next week, you have the Soros ARI-41 Auto Rifle, you have the Omerlon Fizen FR4 Fusion, you have the Haki Haraja D Pulse, you have the Soros JBL-42 Rocket Launcher, and the Soros JBL-47 Rocket Launcher, because these two are apparently inseparable. Woo! And your test weapons for this week, you have the Soros TSA 10 auto rifle that wants you to make precision shots. You have a Haki pulse rifle that wants you to make precision shots. A Soros rocket launcher that wants you to blow up your fellow guardians in the crucible. A Haki shotgun that wants you to fill some hive full of lead. And a Haki sniper that would like you to kill targets quickly. Multiple. Quickly. Together. Yeah. So, that's actually not too bad for your test weapons. Go and siege of the war mind and you'll get all those done in a couple of minutes. Well, apart from this one. But that one you can probably skip. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, like and subscribe for more Destiny content. Hit me up on Twitch or Twitter at TerribleAcon13. And until next time, laters.